I'm delighted to take this opportunity to welcome and to introduce our chief guest, Mrs. Shiromal Kure, for this convocation. She's the managing director of Jetwing Travels Private Limited, one of Sri Lanka's leading destination management companies. She had had, rather, she has had directorships in various businesses, including hotels, finance, investment banking, community bro brokerage, and advertising and public relations agencies. Hailing from a background in finance and management, she holds an MBA from the University of Colombo while also being a fellow member of the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants UK, CIMA UK. She's also former finance director of J. Walter Thompson's Limited Colombo with industry and business experience in the UK and Hong Kong. She has previously served as a chairman of the Sri Lanka Institute of Directors, SLID, and president of the Sri Lanka Association of Inbound Tour Operators. I now invite Mrs. Shiromal Kure to deliver the convocation address. Hi, Bohan, everyone. Thank you, uh, Professor, for that unnecessary long introduction. Uh, I suppose the uh, Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, the Council, uh, students, and I understand the parents are watching from somewhere, dear parents, ladies and gentlemen. I guess they say life is full of special moments, right? I mean, it, it's, that's what makes life interesting. So obviously this is going to be one such special moment for you. I mean, getting a postgraduate degree is from an institution like this LIIT has to be a trademark event in your life. So I thank the uh, SLIT for giving me this opportunity to share this excitement with you. And it's incredibly proud to see so many young uh, girls and boys, or may, should I say men and women, pursuing education rather than getting lured into uh, short-term uh, activities. So it, it's, it's really an honor for me to stand in front of you today. Uh, as the Vice Chancellor said, I think we should not forget uh, the, the faculty, the renowned faculty at Slate would have done a lot of things, undoubtedly, to make this day possible for you. Similarly, your parents would have done lots of sacrifices, uh, made a lot of, uh, would have supported you, guided you to make it possible. But of course, I'm not trying to take anything away from you because obviously you had to work hard to achieve this situation. I'm sure it's a very competitive uh, course of studies and uh, it, it's, it's great to see so many young people. I rem I'm reminded of a quote my father used to tell me when I was perhaps your age or maybe even younger. Uh, he would all, whenever I would, was lazy, he would quote from another poet which says, the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. So which means nothing comes easy in life. It means you need to really work hard to achieve something, and which is what you have done. So congratulations. So while you worked hard and achieved this, obviously you know it's not going to end here. You need to really keep working harder Continue this momentum because you may be having lots of dreams, aspirations. You want to achieve greater heights. So it's, it's, this is just one of the, uh, I should say, the weapons that you have. And uh, the degree from SLIT is very well respected. And it will open a lot of doors for you. So you're, you're one, a few of the very fortunate people. And to be able to study here in Sri Lanka when the country needs uh, foreign currency to be retained in Sri Lanka, it's, it's a remarkable thing what SLIT is doing, and you all are fortunate enough to be recipients of such a well-recognized, renowned degree. This message is from the future. If you are ready to face the future, you will need a place to start where the future meets the present. 
Slit 2022 Main Intake for Student Admission starts now. With bachelor programs in computing, engineering, business, architecture, financial mathematics, law, nursing, psychology, hospitality and culinary, and many more. Slit, the future awaits you. Um, I think it's also a well-known fact that in most institutions, whether in Sri Lanka or overseas, about more than 50% of the people who pass out are actually females. I understand even here about 40% of today's recip graduate recipients are uh, female. Uh, but although that is the case around the world and in Sri Lanka, only about 35% of females are in the labor force, or 35% of the labor force are female. And that also mainly in fairly low paying jobs. So one, I, and if you take the corporate, uh, Sri Lanka's corporate sector, from the listed companies, only about 8% of the directors are females. So there's a lot of work to be done, and I hope that some of you present here, ladies, will aspire to become directors of corporations or companies, listed companies, and increase those percentages. So um, I think for a woman to get an education is a very important thing, and as a woman, I have realized this. Uh, my father used to, again, bring my father back, would always tell us that education is very important. He told us, whatever you do, make sure you get a qualification and you, you, you finish your education. Because I think he came from a background where assets were nationalized. You know, there, it was an era like that. So he would say that rogues can take away your belongings. Governments can nationalize your assets. Maybe bad investment can take away your wealth, but education is the only thing that you will have, which is what you have earned yourself through hard work, and that is the only thing that will be with you for the rest of your life, which will come in very, very handy. Uh, so uh, when I said about the girls, I would like to tell the parents of these girls here, thank you very much for enabling these girls, supporting them to carry on and pursue their studies, because they may not want to work, it doesn't matter. That's a privilege a lady has. They don't really have to work if they don't want to. But if they, don't, if they want to, I hope and pray they will be supported and they will be carry, continued, allowed to do it. Because it's something that a girl, it, it's, it's, a, it's something that will empower a female. It, it's something that will give them added confidence. Something that will give them a lot of self-respect. And they, they don't have to be, because there are lots of, I'm sure you know, there are many instances where females are in abusive relationships, in, in unfortunate situations, simply for financial reasons. But education gives a woman that confidence that is needed to become financially independent, which is, which is very, very important. And so it's a great thing, and girls present here are very, very fortunate. Uh, I'd like to share some of the thoughts that I have on women. I'm sorry I'm talking a little bit about women because it's something that I'm passionate about. Uh, because I think uh, it's not just a women's issue. I think it's a male and female issue. Uh, because uh, no, nobody can do it with, with, my, with, with yourself, you know. Because from the time past, traditionally, a woman's role has been childbearing, nurturing, caring. A uh, man was the provider. He was the person who went hunted and gathered food and put the food on the table. But uh, they've also found over the years that women are very good at multitasking. Unfortunately, men are not that uh, good at that. So over the years, girls, women have found that they can actually manage the two. Provided there are other factors that can be sorted out, women can actually achieve their desires in their careers, they can become entrepreneurs, they can do lots of other things whilst being, maybe taking care of a sick parent, uh, making sure there is food on the table, also, I mean, cooking and taking care of the household things. So they can be a daughter, a wife, and a mother as well. Of course, compromises have to be made, uh, but it can be done. But to do it, they do need the male support. Without that, it's not possible. So fathers should feel uh, confident and that they should see the necessity to educate a child. Similarly, boyfriends, husbands must be self-confident 
and, and they should be uh, secure enough to allow their girlfriend or wife to go out and work and achieve her own goals and desires as well. So that, that, that's very important because, uh, and, and there are also bosses. The boss can be a male or a female. They must also enable these females to work uh, on an equal basis. If there's a training that is available, the ladies should also be given an equal opportunity to go for it. If there is a promotion, the ladies should also be allowed to uh, apply for it. And if, if there are girls who do it, sometimes, unfortunately, they are branded as pushy, bossy, or aggressive females. I think we should stop stereotyping this kind of thing. And girls should also be able to raise their hand whenever there's an opportunity. Don't feel shy, you know, just, just raise your hand. Because boys naturally do that. I know girls have to make an effort to do it. But don't be afraid to do it. It's, if it's rightfully yours, stake a claim. You know, be, be bold and go for it. It's, it's very important. Me pani vide anagatheen. Hetra jaya ganna adama sudhanam vinu obata galapengne anagathaya ha vartamane ekathu vena tanak. Street Dedha Swissidek Nama Ayadum Pad Bargani Ma Aramuna Pariganaka Engineer Vyapar Guru Nirmana Molly Ganitea Niti Vedea Heather Vidya Adenea Mano Vidyava Agan took a Satkara Tulu Upa di Patamala Rasa Oba Venuenma Sleep Heather Dakina Oba Venuen. I think males should also understand when uh, for a mother leaving a child at home and going to work is one of the most difficult decisions they have to make. I'm telling you with experience. It's, it's a very emotional time. You're a young mother. Society expects you to stay at home and take care of your baby. But there are also certain other things that a woman also feels. They also need to, uh, you know, go out there and work. They, they have that feeling. There are some who have to do it for pure financial reasons because they need a joint income. But there are others who don't have to. But they may... It's just they are, the feeling, the the inner self tells them, go out and work. So please, all you male uh, students here, you will one day be in that situation. You might be, uh, I don't know whether you may already are, maybe uh, fathers, husbands, uh, wives, uh, sorry, husbands and bosses. So please understand that. Understand that situation and support a female. Because as I said, it's a very emotional time for her. So do, and just be, and there are there may also be times when the wife is doing better. Maybe she's earning better. She's got a better promotion, and and she's doing better. So allow it. Don't be. Um, I should say maybe say sometimes men may be feeling insecure. Don't be. Don't be that. It doesn't matter. It's it, if 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 somebody else, if your partner has the capacity to shine, let let her shine, please. Do that, and and don't you don't have to feel insecure just because a female is doing better than you. She she's happy and proud of your achievements. Just just be proud and happy of hers. Uh, I'd like to share some. And so okay, another thing is, I'd like to say that as you may have heard already, education is obviously a lifelong experience. It's not going to end here. You've got to learn every day. And life throws so many things at us, especially you, as the vice chancellor said, you all are graduating at a time with so many uncertainties in the world. You're going into the post-pandemic uh, world. You're going into a situation, country where there is threat of war. Your, our own country is having issues. You know, I don't have to tell you, we have foreign exchange issues, we have uh, debt issues, we have all kinds of issues. So it's, it's a very uncertain, unstable situation, but you all are going there. So it's, it, you, be, you may need other skills that you have not learned here. That's, that's the way the world is. So uh, something that I have found in this pandemic situation that has helped lots of leaders, organizations, is the EQ, the, the empathy part of it. You know, the emotional intelligence, that's very important as well. Uh, so please try and develop that. I'm, I'm not sure whether this, there was a, a course in that, but it, it's very important for us to empathize with other people rather than only think, because most of the young people today, I have a young son, so I know, they, they are fairly self-absorbent. They're, they're self, kind of selfish, you know, but that, that won't work. 
We need to think of others. We need to empathize. We need to give out. We need to share. So that's, that's a very important aspect which I would urge you to please uh, have in your life. If I'm to share some experiences with you in my career, uh, I've been in travel and tourism for a long time. And from the day I started, there have been one calamity after the other. We have had the, the ethnic war. We had had the 87 uh, insurrection, the tsunami, uh, the bombing, 2019 Easter bombing, uh, the, the pandemic, the, the COVID. And now, to make matters worse, there is no fuel. There is no diesel. We have tourists coming into the country. We don't have diesel to take them around. So it's been one thing after the other. And none of the textbooks which I studied made me ready to handle this. Because and all the crises have been different to the other one, you know. I did security, financial, so, so many different things. So what I'm trying to say is that you need to adapt a lot of other skills as well. You need different skill sets for different uh, uh, situations. So please do make it your, this program would have given you a lot of critical thinking. You know how to think, how to analyze, how to discipline yourself. So you need to continue that to be successful in life. You know, you cannot have cookie cutter answers for everything. Uh, so life is a little different. So please, I would like to just advise you, maybe advice is not the right word, but share with you some of my experiences. So, uh, as I said, you want to, and because tourism is a very volatile industry, it's dependent on lots of factors where we have no control over. You know, we can do everything that's right, but something can happen somewhere, ash cloud in Iceland or whatever, and tourism will get affected. So some of you may ask me, why am I in it? You know, if it's such a volatile industry and you've had so many problems. So the answer to that is, uh, I, uh, the, I'm so privileged to sell a product like Sri Lanka. It's a genuine product. It's an authentic product. It's a natural. God has given so many wonders to us. In, in 65,000 square kilometers of such a compact country, we have everything other than maybe snow and uh, the winter period. So, we, so it's, it's so easy for me to go and market it. And I love selling the country. And I also love... Uh, take going out and talking about the country and inviting people to come here, showing them around the country. I also like traveling. So I, I travel. This has given me a lot of opportunities to travel within my country and see places I never knew existed. And every time I travel overseas and come here and I travel and I think, wow, what a beautiful country we have. And, you know, I, every day I discover something. So... Uh, if you, if, you, if you love what you're doing and if you have a passion for what you're doing, nothing is kind of impossible. Uh, you know, there will be so many obstacles. There may be so many days when you get up and think, should I do this? You know, why am I wasting my time doing it? But that, the, the passion that you have will pull you towards just hanging on, hanging in there, you know, doing it. It's, it and it's really worthwhile because in the end you will find that your passion and your purpose is the thing that's going to give you fulfillment, you know. You must continue to also be in charge of your intellect, your emotion, and your spirituality. I have found those three things to be very important to me. So I've, I constantly try to read, to maybe listen to, now it's, everything is virtually available on YouTube. You can read, you can listen to, uh, then, so you can improve your intellect. You can also, for emotional things, as I said, there are so many things that you can do uh, to improve your emotional uh, IQ. And also we have friends, family, parents around, just spending time with them, you know, having time, especially for the older people, will give you a lot of satisfaction. And spirituality has helped me so much. In most of the times when everything seemed impossible and, and it was virtually a kind time to just give up, the, the faith I have in the God I believe has really helped me. So I would urge you to please, uh, you know, find some time to spend uh, in your spiritual, whatever faith you believe in. Uh, it's also in increasingly important to lead balanced lives. You all are not very young. I, you're, most of you are doing postgraduate uh, degrees and masters, so some of you may be already working. So 
forget, don't forget that there is more to life than education, qualifications, fancy job titles, and material goods. I'm not saying that desiring those are bad. It's, it's very good to be ambitious because that will propel you, that will keep you uh, motivated to carry on. But you must not forget that that's not the be all and end all of everything. There's more to life than that. உங்களுக்காக <laughs> that personal happiness lies in knowing that life is not a checklist of acquisitions or achievements your qualifications your cv are not your life so so that that just sums up you know that there is more to life than this so just enjoy it you know you're still young you're at the beginning of a huge uh, it, it's a it's a long journey ahead of you so don't forget to enjoy it because it's 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 important to remember to enjoy time with your parents time with your children time with your um, uh, spouses it's it's very important uh, so learn to please balance uh, so don't get too caught up in the rat race uh, something that might help you if i could suggest is a mentor or a coach because it's it's always good to discuss maybe it could be a member of the faculty or a parent somebody who is a little older and with some experience i again don't want to say advice because most young people don't want advice these days but maybe you can have a discussion you can discuss your views against their views and come to a conclusion that i have found that to have helped me along in my career another thing that is important is networking don't let go of an opportunity for you to network because you never know what lies at, um, you know around you so just spend some time after a okay function after something and just meet people keep those cards i don't know now i think people are not even giving cards but it is very important you never know when that person is going to be important to you so so it's important just keep at that uh and also keep in touch with your batch, batch mates life is such as i said before some might take the high road some may take the low road it doesn't matter all of us can't be uh, you know billionaires but it, but it world needs different types of people but the human spirit is such a, such an indomitable thing it's definitely going to see us all through to the end so it's 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 not a big deal you know so i think i can go on and i don't want to do that but uh, i just want to wish you nothing but the best in your a uh, uh, future endeavors and i wish you god's abundant blessings congratulations on your graduation and my best wishes for the for your next adventure or adventures maybe thank you and god bless you